this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Mutant Mayhem. <laughs> this is the animated movie, I guess, a, this is, I don't know if this is like the third or fourth incarnation of the uh, Turtles uh, for the, uh, that's been for the big screen. And uh, this is produced by uh, Seth, uh, Seth Rogen. He actually uh, wrote it, too. I didn't realize that, too, just looking at the credits here. He uh, wrote it, too. I know he produced it. And, okay, this is an animated version of the Turtles and stuff. And I have to say, I'm glad they finally, you know, they stopped putting Shredder and everything. <laughs> okay, and so this, this story is, uh, is basically the Turtles facing off against an army of, uh, I guess, fellow mutants. <laughs> uh, uh, mutant creatures and stuff. And in New York, and them trying, and it gives you the backstory about them, of course, wanting to, you know, they hidden in the sewer and being protected by uh, uh, Splinter and stuff, and they want to, um, want it to be, you know, they want to, you know, they want to interact with people. They want to, you know, they're kind of sick of living <laughs> in the sewer. Uh, they want to, um, you know, they want to branch out. They want to actually interact with humans. Uh, and I like uh, the animation style is is kind of funky. <laughs> Uh, it takes a little bit getting used to, but uh, the animation style to me is okay, and I and I, I kind of like the uh, the turtles. I think the turtles themselves the, as characters, I thought were, <laughs> I thought they were definitely you know funny and definitely had you know their their personalities that they were supposed to have. Okay, nothing uh, uh, out of the ordinary with that. But I thought the voice work was <laughs> particularly good in this. I didn't even realize that uh, Ice Cube. <laughs> was like one of the main villains in this movie uh, with his voice. I knew that voice sounded familiar, but I couldn't quite place it until I, until I actually saw the credits. And then I, you know, realized who, what, you know, so they got a good cast. Now. Like I said, Ice Cube plays uh, Superfly. You know, Jackie Chan plays uh, Splinter. And I thought uh, <laughs> Jackie Chan was pr particularly funny in this movie. And I didn't even know Paul Rudd uh, played one of the mutants, too. Uh, he does a, a great impersonation, I guess. Of a, I guess that shouldn't be that hard because he did the same thing. I guess when he uh, he played uh, uh, when he did like I think when he was in that movie with um, when he played uh, I think I think that Paul I think he played John Lennon and he did sort of an accent in that uh, comedy which I can't think of it now. Uh, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised that he could do the accent. Of course, he had John Cena and Seth Rogen in here as Rocksteady and Bebop. He had Rose Byrne in this. Uh, Gina Carlo Esposito is in this. Mayor Rudolph. <laughs> okay, so that's a nice talented uh, voice worst actors in this. And like I said, the, the animation style takes a little bit getting used to. It's a little kind of funky. <laughs> but actually, I thought uh, they did a good job for the most part. And I like that they didn't, you know, kind of instead of having uh, uh, Shredder being the main villain <laughs> in all these uh, movies, okay, uh, they, you know, they kind of switched it up and, and, and changed the... Uh, the villain that the turtles normally go up against, and I thought it actually was uh, pretty good. It, again, it's about them wanting to be, you know, they're tired of, of hiding out and, and, and living in the sewers. They want to explore and interact with humans and stuff. And of course, you know, Splinter is overly protective of them and doesn't want them to, uh, to you know, to go out because he's, you know, afraid they'll get hurt and stuff. And it's about them and they're meeting a April O'Neil and you know, getting to know her and also, you know, helping and also the mutants, act the other mutants in the movie. They're actually, uh, they're pretty, <laughs> the interaction, I like that, the interaction between them and the Turtles as well. I thought that was, uh, again, well done and well written in this movie. And I think this movie, for the most part, is uh, pretty cool. Again, again, the lesson, I guess, to this movie is to, to, you know, don't be afraid to try something different and everyone's not the same, okay? And don't let one bad experience stop you from doing something else. Like, you know, I had a couple of life lessons in there, going in there. But I thought, for the most part, this, uh, was an entertaining movie. Like I said, the turtles, <laughs> are, I thought, was pretty funny and stuff. And they got young voice actors, I guess, to do those voices and stuff, which was pretty cool. Okay, um, uh, Micah Happy played Donatello. Uh, Shannon Brown Jr. played Michelangelo. Uh, Brandon Noon played Raphael. And Nicholas Cantu played uh, Leonardo. Like I guess and I thought those uh, young actors, act and I'm glad they got actually young actors to actually play actual teenagers. I thought that was pretty good, and they, I think they did a good job for the most part. So overall, I did enjoy this movie. And again, it's different. I'm glad that they, you know, they instead of having Shredder as always the main villain, they did switch it up a bit. And I thought this movie was entertaining for the most part and funny. <laughs> so I'm gonna give uh, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem 
I'll give it a 7.5. Okay, I, th I thought as far as these turtle movies, and I wouldn't mind if they uh, did a sequel to this to see these, you know, because I thought the young actors who played the turtles I thought were really good. And I, at the end, like I said, the animation style is kind of funky, but <laughs> I think the voice actors did a really good job <laughs> with the, with the uh, with the characters and stuff. And I definitely enjoyed myself watching it. So I definitely give it a 7.5. And like I said, I wouldn't mind seeing a sequel to this. If it makes enough money, I guess they'll do a sequel. But I enjoyed it, and I definitely uh, would recommend you see it if you're a fan of the turtles and stuff. And I know maybe some people might have a problem because they changed the way uh, April, the character of April Neal is, uh, I guess traditionally in this movie. But that didn't bother me at all. And, and uh, like I said some people just wouldn't would nitpick. I guess maybe nitpick that part, which to me was just a silly thing. It was, uh, you know, it's an enjoyable. It was an enjoyable movie. And I did like, I think the actress who actually played uh, April O'Neil did a good job too. With the, with, you know, her name was Ayo Ibera, uh, who played April O'Neil. I thought she did a good job too as well with her character. So I enjoyed the movie. Again, 7.5 for me. Anyway, let me know what you think. Have you seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem? What do you think of it? Feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, have a link to my other channel for views and opinions. Please check that out as well. Also, I have a link down below to my Patreon, which is only five dollars a month. Tons of content on there, tons of unedited content on there. Uh, movies, uh, Marvel shows, DC shows, Star Wars shows down there. Follow the link to the Patreon, check it out, only five dollars a month. Also, please give this video a thumbs up, it helps the channel, and I truly appreciate it. Also, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you know when I upload new content to this channel. And this is Trey Pass, just saying so long, and take care.